Hello everyone, this is Lucia from Base Law Library, and this is a demo on how to create and insert a table of authorities. A couple things to keep in mind. I'm using MacBook Pro and Microsoft Word 2008. The brief that I will be working with is a sample brief, and it is only to show how to format it and how to create a table of authorities. I will pull up my document, which already has pagination and table of contents and I will scroll down to the place where table of authorities will appear. Before I start going through the document and marking my citations, I should make sure that they are all consistent so the computer can rely on the consistency of the citations. In this particular brief, the citations don't really start until summary of the argument. Sometimes it doesn't start until even later, sometimes it starts earlier. But the one thing that I want to do, I want to mark all the citations where I'm citing to the source, not only referring to the source. So I will scroll down to the place where my citation starts, which, which is a summary of the argument, and I will start working and marking my citations. The first one is a statute, 18 U.S.C. 922 G1. So I will highlight the citation, click on Insert, index and tables, table of authorities, and mark citation. And a new dialog will open. It's a mark citation dialog. And here I will be working until I mark all of my citations throughout the document. I have to do three things here. First, I have to make sure that the citation in the selected text box is correct. I have to assign category, which in this case is a statue. And I have to create a short citation, which the computer then will use and find all the other subsequent places where I have cited to 922 G1. And this is why we need the citations to be consistent. In this particular case, I will choose 922 G1. And the reason for that is that sometimes I use the section sign, and sometimes I actually use the word section and spelled it out. So if I just use 922G1, the computer will find both alternatives, section sign 922G1 as well as the word section 922G1. And then I have to make a choice. Either I will click on mark, which then will mark only this one citation that, that I highlighted, and I will repeat that for every other citation throughout the document, or I can click on mark all. If I click on Mark All, it will go through the entire document and find all the places in the document where 922 G1 appeared. It's a, the good side of it is that I don't have to go one by one, but the downside of it is that it will also catch all the places where I only referred to 922 G1, where I didn't really cite it. So if I choose to say mark all, I have to remember that in the end, when I insert the table of authorities, I need to cross-check that with the text and make sure that the page numbers that appear in the table of authorities are truly only the ones where I'm citing to the source and not where I'm only referring to the source. So I will choose mark all and I will remember to manually adjust the table of authorities in the end. The next citation is statute again, 18 U.S.C. 2A, 2006. I will highlight it, click in the selected text box. Here I have to delete the period because that is not part of the citation for the table of authorities. It is a statute and I have to create a short form. And again, I'm going to use 2A. And I'm going to say mark all. I scroll down. And I see that my next citation is 922D1. So I will highlight the citation, click in the selected box, make sure that my citation is correct, it's a statute, and create the short citation, which will be 922D1. And click on Mark All. I can click in the document again, scroll down to the next one, which in this case is a case. I will highlight the case, click in the selected text. Now with cases, I have to make sure that the citation is correct, so in this case I'm missing a parenthesis, and I have to also delete the pinpoint site. There's no need to indicate pinpoint citation in table of authorities. 
So I will clean that up and then I have to assign proper category which is a case and I have to create a short citation again. With cases the easiest way to create a short citation is to use the case name. Why? Because even part of a short form citation for a case it should contain the case name. Different situation is with use of it. When we use it we are referring to the immediately preceding authority. So if on page 5 I have a case on the, on the top of the page and then I three times I use it, I don't need to account for all of these it's because it is on the same page and it is accounted for by citing to the first short form citation. Sometimes it can happen that it will run to the next page. So I have a, pa I have a case on page 5 and then I have it and then I swing over to page 6 and I have a it again. And in this situation it wouldn't be accounted for and so it is better on the next page to just use another short form citation. It's friendlier towards the reader as well. So in this case I will use rows as my short form and I will delete the rest. And again I will say mark all. The next citation is another case, so I will highlight the case, click in selected text. Once again, I have to adjust the citation in the selected text so it is correct for the table of authorities. I will get rid of the pinpoint site. It's a case and I will create a short form by using the case name. Delete the rest mark all. I can scroll down to the next page and see what is the next citation. The next citation is a secondary source. It's a law review. So I will highlight the entire law review, click in selected text, adjust the citation. Again, I have to delete the pinpoint because there's no need to show, to indicate pinpoint in table of authorities. It's not a case, it's not a statute, it's other authority. If I wanted to create a new category, I certainly can by clicking on category. Edit category dialog will open where I can create a new one. I will just leave it as other authorities for now. And again, I have to create a short form. Just as with cases, a good thing to use for short citation would be the author's name because short form citation for an article should always include the author's last name. So I can delete everything else except the author's last name which will be used for the citation. And in this case it's Klein. So I will leave that, delete the rest and say mark all. And I can move on to the next place within the document and find the next citation, which in this case seems to be another case. I will highlight the case, click in selected text, adjust the citation so it is correct for the table of authorities, delete the pinpoint site, assign category cases and create a short form. And this is the process that I will repeat until I finish the document and I will mark every single citation throughout my document, mark all. When I'm finished, I can close the dialog, mark citation, and I can go back up. I will not mark every single citation, I just did few for the purpose of the demo. So I will then scroll back up to where the table of authorities is supposed to appear. I can click in the space where the table of authorities is supposed to be. I can go to insert, index and tables, and table of authorities. Now before I click on OK, there's a couple things I have to do. One, I have to uncheck use passing because I want the page numbers to show. And I should modify the font of the table of authorities. 
because even the font of the table of authorities should match the rest of the brief. So if I wrote the brief in Times New Roman, table of authorities should also be in Times New Roman. I have two things to modify here. The table of authorities headings, which are the individual headings of the groups of documents that I have assigned when I was marking my citations. So the few citations that I have marked, I marked some cases and statutes and other authorities. And so I will click Modify and I will make sure that it's Times New Roman. It can stay bold, that's fine. And let's also see what the paragraph looks like. Let's have it aligned all the way to the left. And it's okay if it has a little bit of spacing between the heading and the next case. And I say OK, OK. And then I have to also adjust the table of authorities font. So I will highlight table of authorities, click on modify, change the font to Times New Roman, 12 is fine. Format the paragraph. I don't want it to be indented. I want it to be all aligned on the left. OK, OK, apply. And now I can click OK here. The computer will take a couple of seconds to work. And it will insert the table of authorities. Now, as I mentioned when I was marking the citations, I chose the to mark all the citations. So now I have to go and I have to delete some page numbers from the table of authorities. And that is done very easily. I know that my statutes didn't really appear until page 4, so I can get rid of the beginning. Same thing here. And same thing with the last one. The safest thing is probably to cross-check each of these pages and make sure that when the page is listed in the table of authorities, it is a page on which I actually cite it to the source. I didn't just refer to it or mention it. And then the very last step that is left to do is to insert cover page. So I have my cover page ready in a different document. So I can just highlight, copy, go back to my document. I can delete this cover page that I had there just so I know that the cover page was going there. Paste, and here it is. So I have my cover page with no pagination. I have my table of contents and table of authorities with Roman numerals. I see that, let's see if I unclick the paragraph, then everything will show as it's supposed to, as it will actually show when I print it. So I have table of authorities, Roman numeral 1, table of authorities, Roman numeral 2, and then I have the beginning of the brief, which starts on page 1. And that concludes the formatting of appellate brief. I hope you found it helpful, and thank you for listening.